Good evening, I'm Lauren Culber. And I'm Chad Mira. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10 o'clock. Last month, an EF2 tornado swept through an RV park in Watford City without warning. It left more than 200 people displaced and more than 100 structures destroyed. Today, a roundtable discussion was held to find solutions in case there's a next time. Steve Kurtz reports in our top story. Um, it was a while before we even knew there was a tornado that went through. Was there any time for the sirens to go off? No, not at all. They wouldn't have heard the sirens anyway. Jappy says the reason Watford wasn't able to get out a warning is because they only have radar coverage for storms 10,000 feet above the ground. But most tornadoes circulate below that, and she's not quite sure why there is a gap in coverage. I'm not sure. I've been talking to a few people. Today, Senator John Hoven held a roundtable discussion to address the gap in coverage, which has been discussed in Congress for areas like Watford City. We passed legislation last year that directs them to cover these gaps. But today, the senator told the National Weather Service that he and others need a solution for Watford City now. What they have told me they will do is they'll adjust the Minot radar so within a year we should have that coverage down to 4,000 here, which is the better coverage. Sokic said it would take some time to make software and mechanical adjustments to the Minot radar, but even with the changes, it still wouldn't have detected the Watford City tornado. Particular case for Watford City, the storm, the tornado itself formed from the ground up, very, very low levels. And unless you have a very high resolution radar exactly right there, you're not going to be able to detect it. He also says they are continuing to work on improving technology so tornadoes like the one in Watford City can be detected and residents can have more than 13 minutes of warning time before a storm hits. As part of the Weather Act that passed Congress last year, we have a direction to improve our tornado warnings out to 60 minutes of lead time. And for now, first responders like Jappy are wondering what they can do better next time. Be putting some things into place. We tried to see what we did right, where we went wrong, and what we could do in the future. Steve Kirch, KX News. And during the roundtable discussion, there was also talk of adjusting the Glasgow, Montana radar to improve coverage for Watford City, but nothing official yet.